Hey everyone, John here again. I uh, got the mosaic up and running. I just did a little quick recalibration on it. I actually uh, took off the bed here and tightened this belt, tightened the X belt. Uh, I did notice some cracking right here at this uh, belt clamp, so I have to make a new one of those contact maker gear and see if they can get me the STL or send me a new one. But it, it's working for now, and there's no rush to get it fixed. But to show you the, the grenade I'm printing, once it focuses in, oh well, it's not going to focus. Anyway, uh, so this is what I'm making. It's, it's a grenade. Uh, I apologize to the author. I don't remember the name of the author right now. But it comes off. Just like that. Got the spoon separate, and these pieces here, that's one and that's two. So these are actually two separate pieces printed separately. And this goes in. Can, there it goes. Slides right on in. Slides out. And there's actually space for a spring. The spring goes on in that hole there on the right. And then when you close it, that post on the left there actually creates the spring action. So you get the spring in there, and then you pull the pin, and then let go, and this just pops right up pink like that and there it is printing that is one plate i've been messing around with some settings to see what uh how fast i can get this to print my best time so far is four hours my worst time so far is like four and a half five hours <clears throat> but this one looks pretty good it's pla and i'm thinking about switching over to abs so i can try to acetone vapor bath and make it really smooth this is all PLA, but it's really hard. This is actually pretty hollow. You can tell that I completely removed the infill. So it actually cut about an hour off just doing no infill. With uh, almost no no obvious signs of uh, weakening the material. That's all I got for now.